Hi everyone, Miss Jill here. I am glad you are back for another week of um, virtual summer Sunday school. Um, as I said last week, this week we are talking about courage. And in particular, we're talking about sheep, Shipuras and Puhas. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Courage. Um, if you'd like to follow along, um, I'm going to tell you the scripture story in just a few minutes. But but if you would like to follow along in your own Bible, to do so, you just need to get. Um, so once again, we're exploring compassion in the Hebrew scriptures. So that is um, the Old Testament, the first few books of the Bible. And um, in particular, this week, we're looking at Exodus. And so Exodus chapter 1, verse 15 through 21. Um, so to begin, um, I want you to think about, um, what the word powerless means. Um, so if you were powerless, what does that feel like? What does it look like? Um, so if you're powerless, usually you're going to need help from other people to do something, um, because you can't do it yourselves. Um, in today's story, there are some powerless people and they're actually babies in this story um, and they were in danger and babies are very powerless there's really not much they can do for themselves um, and so we as adults and just even anyone older like helps to take care of babies right because they can't when they're first born they can't really feed themselves they can't walk they can't talk um, so they need someone to help them someone to take care of them and so we're going to be talking about um, some babies that were in great danger and the courage of some people to take care of those babies anyway so let's dive right in so exodus chapter 1 verse 15 through 21. okay so because he was afraid the king of egypt gave a terrible command to two hebrew wood midwives whose names were shipra and pua he told them when you are helping hebrew women give birth if the baby is a boy kill him if she's a girl you can let her live and so I said that, you know, the king was scared. The king was scared because there were a lot of Hebrew people and he didn't want there to be so many Hebrew people. So he thought, well, if I kill half the babies, if I kill all the boy babies, they won't grow up into men. And then I don't have to worry about them ever coming and taking over um, or revolting against me because there won't be enough of them. So we just need to keep control of this. So this was his idea. Pretty terrible idea, right? Um, so the midwives, they answered to God. They weren't gonna answer this king. And so they let the boys live too. The king called for them. And when they came, he asked them, why have you done this? Why have you let the boys live? The midwives said, oh king, Hebrew women are so strong. They give birth on their own before we can even arrive. The community grew and became strong and God was pleased with the midwives. Their disobedience to the king was actually faithfulness to God. Then Shipra and Puha had children of their own. And so, um, these two amazing women, Shipra and Puha, they kind of broke the rules, right? So let's think about their story and their courage as we consider these um, questions for today. So in hearing this story about their courage, what kind of people do you imagine Shipra and Puha were? What do you think they looked like? A lot of times when I read stories and read parts of the Bible, I like to imagine in my head what um, the people look like and sounded like. And so um, think about these two women. What do they look like? How do you know, we kind of see how they acted. Um, kind of try to create a movie in your mind of this story. What do these two women look like to you? OK, uh, my next question is a kind of a fun one. And one of my, actually my favorite one from today is how do courage and compassion go together? So not only are they both C words, they both start with C, right? CO actually, they both start with CO. Um, how do courage and compassion go together? What do you think? In the case for Shipra and Pua, it, without courage, is they wouldn't have been able to be compassionate, right? Sometimes it takes a lot of courage, a lot of bravery to show compassion because it might be breaking rules. It might be like breaking just rules that aren't even real rules. Like um, when we get in the elevator, right? Um, usually you turn and face the doors and you don't talk to anyone. You don't really do anything. You kind of just ignore the other people in there. Um, so that's kind of like a societal norm, a societal rule. What happens if you get in the elevator and just sit, smile and say, hi, how's it going? Um, so you're kind of breaking a rule there, right? But that is that's showing compassion. That's showing you care. That's showing hospitality like we talked about last week. And it probably takes a little bit of courage to do that because it's going against what we usually do. So think of some other maybe situations where courage and compassion can go together. 
Um, the next question, can you remember or think of a certain time when breaking the rules was actually the right thing to do in a certain situation? Um, and then what happened like in that scenario? So sometimes, you know, some rules are made to be broken, right? Um, sometimes rules might actually um, not be the best thing to follow. Um, especially like in this case. So the king was making a bad rule. And so the people knew that they couldn't follow it because it would be hurting their people, hurting their God. Okay. Should Brown Pua show compassion to those who don't have any power? The baby boys Pharaoh wanted them to kill. Who are some people you can think of that don't have much power in our world today? Are there any ways that we can show compassion to them? So who are some powerless people in our world. Um, and this can be powerless in many different ways. Um, maybe we think about people that um, don't have the power to um, walk on their own. Maybe we think about people who don't have the power to purchase things that they need. They don't have the money. Because a lot of times in our society, I know um, we've talked in Sunday school in the last few months on occasion about um, poverty, or it was actually, I think it was last fall in Sunday school, we were talking about um the Beatitudes, that Jesus was talking to the people that were powerless. And a lot of that lack of power came from just not having money. So people that are poor, who have poverty, are often powerless um, in their situation. So think about some ways that we can show compassion to people that might be powerless in any of many different ways. Um, and then finally, I want you to think about how God felt when he was watching Shipra and Pua make these decisions to save the baby boys and to disobey Pharaoh. How do you think God looked down on them? Do you think he was proud? I'd like to think that he was. And I think he probably thought about um, how amazing humans can be um, when they, when compassion and courage come together to um, you know, make the world a better place. So um, I want you to be um, thinking about how compassion and courage can go together this week um, maybe think of some ways that you can show some compassion and maybe you're going to have to have some courage to use it too. Um, yeah. So I'm going to close in prayer. Um, I'll see you back here next week. Um, let me look ahead next week. We are going to be talking about, what are we going to be talking about? I can't turn my page. So next week we are going to be talking about when King David showed some kindness. We're going to be talking about focusing on kindness. Um, we'll get there next week. In the meantime, have an amazing week. Um, I can't wait to see you hopefully in worship soon. Um, let us close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for the story of Shipra and Pua and for their courage and compassion as they helped the babies who were powerless and in danger. Help us to be brave like them, helping others who can't help themselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.